Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're making a Mexican recipe. I know a lot of you like those. So I'm whipping them up today. We're making grilled shrimp and chicken tacos. And inside those, we're gonna have some of my Spanish rice. And then I'm gonna make some guacamole. I have that already prepared. And I have a great recipe for you. And I'll leave links for those down below in the description of the video. That's for the Spanish rice and the guacamole. So you wanna prepare that ahead of time. And we're gonna finish it off with a special sauce. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how we do it right after this. So let's go over our ingredients. I got a few for you. So first up is my Spanish rice. That turned out beautiful. I cooked that just a few minutes ago, so it's sitting right here still. I'm keeping it nice and warm. We have our shrimp. Now these are already had the shells removed and the tails and deveined the whole bit. And these are like uh, 25 to 35, something like that in the size. I've got some chicken breast here that I cut up and I used chicken breast just because it was easy to cut up and very quick. And you know, you just, I put it into bite-sized pieces so it'll fit nicely in my taco. Guacamole, I've got my guacamole here. It's already made. I have a great recipe for you to try. You gotta try it, it's delicious. I made quite a bit today because my family just loves it and it just goes just like that. All right, so next up we've got I'm gonna make a little bit of pico de gallo, just a basic recipe. I got some onions, tomatoes, limes, fresh limes, some jalapeno, cilantro. I've got some salt here, and then my spices. So for my spices, I have some ground cumin. I've got chili powder. I like to use the ancho chili powder. It's smoky in its flavor and it's not too hot. And then here, let's see what I have, smoked paprika. And I might even toss in a little bit of my own blend of taco seasoning. Sometimes I like to do that. We'll also need some mayonnaise, some sriracha sauce, and I have some corn tortillas. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making our pico de gallo. Just a little bit here so we can add that onto our dish. So I'm gonna chop my tomatoes in, you know, kind of big chunks, not too small. I like it, you know, just depends on how chunky you like it. Now I have some leftover uh, tomatoes here um, from my guacamole, so I'm gonna add that to it. It's a little finer than I would like, but that's okay. It's still gonna work. I don't wanna waste it. So pico de gallo is, is basically what I'm gonna be using is just like four ingredients. I'm using tomatoes, onions that I've already chopped up here. I'm gonna toss those in. I might add a little bit more depending on how, you know, I gotta look at it when I start stirring it up. All right, so here's my tomatoes. I think I might give this just a little bit of a chop. All right, I'm gonna toss that in my bowl. Hopefully you can see that. Now with the jalapeno, you wanna, I, you wanna rinse them first and then cut them. I like to remove the seeds because I don't like the heat, but you can leave it in if you like the heat, so that's up to you. So I just cut it up. Don't touch your face when, you, when you're handling these peppers because uh, you will burn your skin, your eyes, whatever you touch. All right, once you remove what you wanna remove, cut this into strips. That way you can get a nice fine dice out of it very easily. And you turn it the other way. And look at how nice and small that is. Now I like to use the super fine dice with this because I don't like big chunks of jalapeno. I like it nice and small. And we'll just add that to our tomato and onion. I like to give this a stir to see what it looks like, you know, the, the ratio of the tomatoes to the rest of it. Now we're gonna need to add some cilantro to this. Add as much as you like, and if you don't want to add cilantro because you just can't stand it, some people don't like it, you can use parsley. All right, then we'll sprinkle that cilantro in there. Give it a stir, see if you need more. All right, so now we're ready for some lime juice. We gotta have lime juice in this. So I'm gonna squeeze a bunch in there. It really brightens up the flavor, guys, really does. that a stir, I'm trying to keep, stay in the bowl there. Okay, now we need some salt and that'll do it. All right, so we're gonna set this aside until we're ready to serve. 
Okay, so I've got my shrimp over here and my chicken over here. I'm keeping them separate. They're gonna be cooked separately because the shrimp are gonna cook up a lot faster than the chicken. So that's why I'm keeping them separate. I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of olive oil in both of these. And I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Two fish did today, here we go. I got my ground cumin, so we're gonna sprinkle some of that in there. I'm just, like I said, doing them both the same. Garlic powder. Let's hit that up with that. Ancho chili powder. That smoky flavor we like. And this is my smoked paprika. I don't have a little top on it, so I'll just have to sprinkle it in on my own. and my taco seasoning blend, which you can get in the description of this video. And I just, I'm just tossing a little in there because it's got a lot of good stuff in it. So we'll toss each one of these and I might, you know, do it again, depending on how they look. Toss the shrimp. And that way these can marinate a little bit. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice, but not too much. Now with, whenever you put any kind of citrus lemon, lime, even orange on fish, it will cook it. So you don't want to marinate it for more than say 15, 20 minutes tops. Let's see how our chicken looks here. Now my taco seasoning has a little bit of salt in it. So I'm probably not gonna salt this. I might do it just a touch. So here's a little bit of lime juice into the shrimp. I don't want to do too much to wash off the all the seasoning, but just a little bit, just a little hint of that in there. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna set these over at the stove and get ready to cook those. Now for our little sauce that we're gonna do, I've got mayonnaise in the, in the bowl here, and I'm just gonna squirt in some sriracha sauce and some lime juice. And maybe a little salt, we'll see. I'm gonna mix this up first. Take a little taste out of that. I'm liking that a lot. Add a little more lime juice to it. It's a nice simple sauce that just kind of spruces up your, your dish. So just play with this, you know, mix it up, add a few things, give it a little taste, and adjust. All right, so to cook up our chicken and shrimp, I've got two grill pans here. This is the bigger one, obviously. This one's a nonstick pan. This one is a cast iron pan. And I've been preheating these. You wanna start out with a nice hot pan. That's really important. Right now I got everything on low just because it's been heating up now for probably 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start with the chicken first because the chicken is gonna take longer. You could also grill this up outside on your barbecue if you want. Cutting your chicken up into nice little pieces like this will also make it cook up quicker. So when our chicken gets done and our shrimp, I've got a, a clean bowl right over here that I'm gonna be placing everything into. So make sure you don't put it back in the same dish. All right, so I'm gonna flip these over. They're looking pretty good. You want to test them, you can test them for 165 degrees Fahrenheit with your instant read thermometer. Don't want to overcook this because then what happens, guys, it gets dry, right? Now once I flip these over, I'm going to start cooking the shrimp. The shrimp should only take, you know, like a couple, two, three minutes per side. Time for our shrimp. Got to hear the sizzle. Now notice I have tongs for the shrimp and I have tongs for the chicken, right? Did you notice that? It's important not to cross contaminate. I have my dish here, I'll just I'll set it right back there and place my chicken into it because it's done. And I'm putting the, the chicken to one side of the dish that way when we make the tacos, you know, we can pick it out and make them all chicken even if we want to. I think we can start turning these guys over. Okay, another minute. It'll be time to eat. So you want to heat up your tortillas. So I have a cast iron pan here over medium heat, and I'm just going to put some tortillas on there. These are corn. And then once they get hot, I'm going to place them into my 
uh, tortilla warmer. I'll leave a link for you down in the description. You can get one of those. They're the best things ever. They keep your tortillas hot for 35, 45 minutes. All right, everybody, it's time to eat, and this is gonna be so delicious. All right, nice, hot tortilla. Put it in my little tortilla holder there. We're gonna put a little rice on the bottom first. Now, for a little chicken. Gotta get some shrimp in there. Then I wanna put the sauce on. Let's see, now we'll go with pico. A little bit of that. And of course, we end it with guacamole, the best part. It's gonna be messy, <laughs> but it's gonna be mighty fine. Let's see if I can take a bite. I am starving. They say hunger is the best cook, do you agree? All right, here we go. Oh my God, so good. I wanna keep eating. <laughs> I don't wanna talk anymore, I just wanna eat. That is so delicious, man. The spices, that sauce, I really like that sauce right over the chicken and the shrimp. You guys have to make this. Please let me know if you do down in the comments and let me know how you love it because you are going to love this. Flavors are everywhere. Oh my God. Nice spices going on. We got the freshness from the pico. We got the, the creaminess from that sauce and the guacamole and the rice is fabulous. I mean, it's just wonderful, guys. I want to have this as a taco bar and just have a bunch of people over and they will just enjoy this. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you think you enjoy some of these recipes and share it if you, you know, think someone else might enjoy it as well. I'd love to have all of you here joining us every week. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.